Hello and welcome everybody. It's that time of year where we are looking for gifts for our loved ones and you may be compiling your own Christmas list, national holiday here in the United States, and we need to help you out. So in alphabetical order, I'm giving you my top 10 picks and I might break the rules a little bit here and you can judge me for that. I really don't care. It's my video. Escona. This is, first, alphabetically, I think this is alphabetical. I have a college degree. I mean, if I get this wrong, let me know. The Ascona. Um, these are available domestically here in the United States as of this date, November 2017. So check the link in the description below. Supplies may be limited. The sooner you get this out, the sooner you'll get them, the sooner you'll order them, and the sooner you'll have them. Shipping overseas can be a little restrictive. So it's nice to see that there's a retailer here in the United States helping us out. Ascona, definitely check it out. Number one on the recommended list. Um, this is a slightly different than just my favorites list. You'll notice that I represent many price groups here. The, I mentioned that because the second one on the list, the Atlantic Club, classic poker chips, lovely, lovely set right here. And you'll notice I mixed in the hot stamps with the true inlay, lovely poker chips. These are the nicest poker chips that I will show you today. Either one, pick one. The hot stamp, I love these hot stamps, by the way. The hot stamp tournament set or the Atlantic Club inlay set. This, these are a little bit more pricey. Yeah, take your pick. I'm just going to put one of these on top of that and leave it like that for you. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Love, love, love. Next, Dunes. A, B, C, D, C. I knew I went to college for something. Dunes. These are a lovely china clay set. You really can't go wrong with any china clay. I mean, some honorable mentions here. I don't know if I need to mention them, but the Pharaohs are definitely one. Uh, the other ones that they sell, Majestics, you can look for the link in the description below. A place called Apache Poker Chip sells these. The f they feel wonderful and they're very reasonably priced. So if you're looking for a budget set, this is excellent. Not the cheapest sets. Um, we're going to talk about those here in a minute. Another wonderful china clay, which I think comes next alphabetically, the Milano. The Milano set is just a lovely set. China clay, they feel great. They're readily available. You don't have to go to one vendor. Last time I checked, they were selling them on Amazon, uh, something that you can get pretty much anywhere. Sometimes the quality lets us down. Like, look at the printing here. You need to put some more ink in that printer of yours. Either way, the Milanos are next. Now, we are definitely moving into the economy section. We're getting some metal slugged ABS chips. These are not casino weight, they are just too heavy, but the mint. Again, another lovely set. They'll have the denominations likely that you need for your little games, whether you're playing little cash games, micro stakes, normal stakes, or just playing for fun, or even like I found, these are great poker chips just to fill out games where you don't necessarily want to use the really cheap either currency or poker chips or chips that come with some board games so definitely check out the mint fun little poker chip and remember these are made by claysmith and claysmith has a variety of chips so you'll want to check out their website go to claysmith look for the link in the description below generally they have some let me see if i can reach over here and grab some they have some other chips that you may like more so check out their other designs but this is the one i picked out for the video Kind of some honorable mentions here as well. Um, one that you'll also find readily available. This is another metal slug economy chip, very inexpensive. The Monte Carlo Poker Club poker chips. Ooh, shiny. You like shiny chips? Totally check these out. Um, they come brand new with some flashing generally, but they're very playable. They are a little heavy for my taste, but like I said, you'll get used to them and they're very affordable. Generally speaking, it all depends. Sometimes they sell out, they move pretty quickly. Next on the list, alphabetically, we get our ceramic, our first ceramic. The Ascona are a ceramic hybrid, by the way. So there's a glossy label here inside of a, 
ceramic. Then we have a true inlay. Then these are all label, 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 label. And then we hit ceramics. Nevada Jack, um, a little vulgar. <laughs> One of the interesting experiences. Um, a five-year-old girl asks her mother, just some friends visiting, Mommy, what's this? And then she, obviously she didn't say this, but I, you know, the worst thing flashes through my mind is like, is she going to tell her five-year-old daughter, oh, well, here's an entry wound because his brains got blown out and here's a skull smoking a stogie. <laughs> yeah, it's a little vulgar. Is that an understatement? So I like them because they're bold. They're kind of polarizing. If you like them, you get them or put them on your Christmas list. If you hate them, let us know in the comments. Uh, and by the way, think about this. What are your top 10 poker chips you would recommend to people? Think about it. Leave a comment. Next up, QRS. Oh my goodness. Is that a rounders chipset? It is. Classic poker chips made the original rounder chips for the movie. That's right. But this is a different mold. That one was made on the Roman mold. This is made on the circle square mold. They also have the, whatever it's called, the squiggly line mold as well. I like these more. So these are on the list, rounders. These are not cheap. These are in the same kind of price range. When you're talking about a high quality clay chip of casino weight, no metal slug, um, they're square edges, they feel great. Um, as far as quality goes, these are top notch. But again, you're gonna pay for them. So remember, you get what you pay for. It's just one of those things. I need to make some more room. So I'm gonna move the mint up here by the Milano's and shuffle these over. There we go. Next is another ceramic. This is probably one of the more affordable ceramics that I like the quality of. These are called scroll, scroll ceramics. Very reasonably priced for a ceramic and they do the job. They are good at just being a poker chip and poker chip. I say and to emphasize that it's just a generic looking poker chip, chip like some of the others that you'll see here. Some of them have tons of character. Some of them are unique design. Some of them are shiny and some of them are just, just poker chips, which is great because you want to be focused on the game, the conversation, the cards. Very few people are really going to pay tons of attention to your chips. And finally, the Tiki Kings. Man, I love these. These are like polar opposites, both ceramic. So these, the graphics are actually printed. I think it's dye sublimation is what they call it onto the chip, all three of these. So yeah, they're pretty permanent. They don't peel off like some of these stickers, but my experience, like some of this, this is real in my stickers, like sticker labels like these right here. These right here have sticker labels, so they can peel out. But my experience is they don't unless you really take a knife and dig them out. They're pretty, they're in there pretty good. So very reasonable. This is my top 10. I'm interested to read about yours. I have some honorable mentions. Oh no, here he goes. First thing, it's another one of excellent quality, the same as Rounders and Atlantic Club are the Key West. If you're looking for like an island coloration, a lovely, relaxed, tropical theme here, check out the Key West poker chips. Uh, very good. Again, all this will be in the description below. Another honorable mention, ceramics. The Valentino. These are lovely poker chips. I have no complaints about these. They're just not my favorite. They're based off of the Venetian designs for their poker room, but a lovely ceramic. Um, if you like the design, totally check these out. They have a great selection of denominations. Like, look at this two right here, melon colored two. Absolutely lovely. Another thing that I would ask you to consider are casino chips. Like here are some Bud Jones from Puerto Rico. Obviously the, uh, the Wyndham in old San Juan. I'm reaching over here. We also have some Horseshoe Cincinnati. Sometimes you can still buy these obsolete casino chips. It's nice just to get some obsolete casino chips sometimes and you have a casino chip set that you can actually play with. Lovely, lovely. And one of the, oh, here's another ceramic. Wow, I'm just finding all sorts of honorable mentions here. Spades, I love these Spades ceramics. They're very unique. This didn't make my top 10 because um, I, you know, denomination on one side, not on the other. That's pretty cool. I'm still warming up to it. So if you're interested, check out the spades. Look for 
links in the description. And finally, uh, there is something else that's new. This was shipped to me by Roger from Switzerland. Uh, these are Huego poker chips in Europe. Don't totally check these out. These are very similar to the next gen. If you're in the US and you can find some next gen, uh, these are also a very good economy chip. My favorite for a, a very low price. They're harder to find nowadays, so I didn't put them in my list because there can be there can be some price gouging going on. So if you find some next gen pro classics that you like, you can purchase those if you can find them for a good price. Um, but in Europe, definitely look for the Juego. I found some of these in the U.S. on eBay for way too much for their, their price gouging. So in the U.S., not recommended as of yet. If you find them for a good price, maybe pick some up. But these are a good tournament set. They have more of a casino weight, but they do feel a little bit more plasticky than a like casino chip or um, a ceramic. So um, totally get some of these if you like. They're very reasonably priced, and they are a good tournament set. I like the colors and everything. Nice, simple design. These would make a great great tournament set. Thank you, Roger, for sending these over. I'm going to do a review of these in a separate video. So those are some honorable mentions. Uh, really, it comes down to what you want. And don't forget to buy samples. Thank you so much for watching. Please support this channel on Patreon, and I will be back with more poker chips.